Hi everyone. Today we are going to learn how to build a simple LED blinking project using Arduino platform and Tinkercad, which is an online simulation platform. So we will be using the Arduino Uno microcontroller and LED and a resistor to build our circuit and we will be writing our code to make the LED blink at a specified rate. Okay. So first let's set up the circuit in Tinkercad and before that we need to log in into the Tinkercad. So let's see how to do that. Now here if you can see I have the circuit ready but let's say if you are new to Tinkercad then what you can simply do is just go to www.tinkercad.com for me it will directly open the dashboard because I am already logged in but if you are new it will uh, ask you to log in and sign up and then once you are done you will be taken to this dashboard and then what you have to do is once you are in this dashboard just click on this plus new button and then click on circuit so this is the workspace where we will be building the circuits and uh, where here this is the area from where we can pick up the components and add it to this workspace and if you want to write any code you can use this option from our to write the code and once all the things are done you will be clicking on the start simulation button to check how the project is working okay so for now for us uh, since i have already the circuit ready let me teach you how to get this circuit so just simply click on this components and click on arduino and here if you can see there are already uh, very various options of uh, different different Arduino based circuits so since we are just doing this LED blinking project let's just click on this blink circuit and drag and drop it here so now if you can see our circuit is already completed and added in this workspace now let's understand the circuit first so let me just close this because now I hope you have learned how to add circuit now if there is another way we can do that so if you want to add each and every component by yourself what you can do is let me just undo this okay so simply if you want to add all the components by yourself so you can just simply search Arduino first you have to go to this all now search Arduino then bring this Arduino board over here now let's say we need an LED so let me just search for an LED I have this LED option here I will get it from here now what else I need is a resistor so I will just choose this resistor and put it over here now let's say we want to make the connections to pin 13 so i will just connect this pin 13 click on this pin 13 and connect it to the one terminal of resistor and the other terminal of resistor will be connected to this led similarly if i want to connect the ground i will connect it here so in this manner we simply uh, created our led blinking circuit and what you can do is you can then write the code and click on start simulation so let me teach you how to do that and uh, what is our code exactly okay so this is the circuit so before we write uh, the code or understand the code uh, if you remember we just directly uh, clicked on this blank project and selected and dragged it here right so if you click on this code area or code option so it will open the code editor if you have opened this very for the very first time it will open this block section for you when you click on this code so if you are very new to uh, Arduino and you uh, do not understand programming you can uh, use this feature of blocks to uh, try various types of code or uh, if you are not into blocks and if you want to write the code then you can simply go to this text option and then this code area will be available for you cool so what you have to do here is uh, you have to 
write the code but for us since the circuit is already ready the code has already been written here for this led blinking circuit by tinkercad so let's just understand what the circuit is uh, sorry what this code is so let's just understand what this code is so firstly it has void setup and inside void setup it has written pin mode led built-in output okay so uh, let me tell you one thing before this so if you are new to arduino uh, and if you don't know what is arduino or uh, um, under if you don't know what are the pins in the arduino or how arduino works and all or how to start writing codes for arduino or every or if you want to know anything and everything about arduino we have a uh, playlist or a arduino course which is already for free uh, so you can uh, you can use that i will link it around somewhere on in in the description and also in if you can see on the top right uh, of the screen you can see the course linked here and after that so let's come back to this void setup okay so simply what this means is uh, what we are doing is we are setting each pins that we have connected of this arduino with the uh, with the led as input or output pin so right now what we are doing is pin 13 we are connecting uh, to this led as an output pin to turn it on or off to give it a signal as an output signal from this arduino to this led so which is why we are writing it as output okay and here it is written led built in so what this what does this means is led built in is a predefined pin which is which indicates pin 13 uh, of the arduino which also we can denote using this led built in variable uh, if in case you do not have an external led connected what it will do is if you turn on this led built-in is respective if there is any external led connected and if this led built-in is high then this, if you can see this l option and this uh, small led here this will start glowing okay so what will happen is this is the built-in led with the arduino so it will start glowing on and off uh, once you turn on this uh, led built-in variable high or low okay so simply what happened here is in using this pin mode function we defined the led built-in which is the pin 13 of the arduino as output pin to give the signal high as high and low okay and inside the void loop what we did is we gave a, a high value to this led built-in pin which is that pin d13 using this digital write function okay so what simply happens here is first it will go high which is pin 13 will be high and after a delay of one second it will go low using this code or using this line of the code which is digital write led built in low so what will happen is first it will turn on and then after a delay of one second uh, it will turn off and again after a delay of one second it will glow it will glow as in it will turn on again why because we have written this in this void loop function so whatever happens here is uh, happening in the loop so once this code uh, once this code comes here it will go back again to the first line of this void loop function and it will start executing again so it will turn on turn off turn on turn off with a delay of one second okay so this is basically our code uh, and now since we are done with our code let's understand the simulation part so for simulation to check the output of the project or the code so just what you have to do is we just have to simply click on start simulation so now if you can see our led is blinking uh, and there is a delay of one second okay and not only this led but if you can see this led is also blinking at the same time with respect to this led yeah so this is the led built in if you have if you remove this led and still run the same code only this led will keep on doing with a delay of one second okay so this is our simple project on led blinking using arduino and tinkercad platform i hope you understood how to build this led blinking project using tinkercad and arduino and as always if you have any questions or comments please leave them below also one more thing if in case you are new to this tinkercad platform as well there is another playlist or another course that we have 
I will link that uh, in this description and also at the top right corner of this video. You can check that out and you will find a Tinkercad course where you can learn and understand each and everything about Tinkercad. Okay.